So there is a link between neurofibromatosis and Moya, Moya disease in that um, patients who have an underlying diagnosis of neurofibromatosis are at risk to develop certain vascular complications. It may be something as simple and straightforward as high blood pressure or hypertension, and they may develop other abnormalities such as renal artery stenosis and Moya, Moya syndrome. So it's not clear what what specifically is the relationship. However, there was recently a new um, genetic defect found on chromosome 17 leading to Moya Moya syndrome, and that's the same uh, chromosome that's abnormal in patients with neurofibromatosis type 1. And this has to be explored further, but clearly it's thought that there might be some genetic link between the two. We do know that patients who have neurofibromatosis are at risk for developing Moya Moya syndrome, and if they have received radiation in the past, they're at markedly increased risk. And we think this is because the radiation radiation provides a second impact factor that then increases not only the likelihood of them developing Moya Moya, but also the rate at which the Moya Moya develops.